Hi, I'm Jim Morris with T1V and I'm going to give you a demonstration of our flagship collaboration product called ThinkHub. And ThinkHub is designed to be very simple and easy to use, intuitive. And so when you walk in the room, uh, it has a very simplistic look to it. It's very easy to understand. Uh, and if you just want to start a meeting, there's a button here that says start. You would just tap that. Before I do that though, I just want to show you it also shows uh, with, with calendar integration, it shows all the meetings that are scheduled for the room so you can see them here. If some of these happen to be video conference calls, you can, you can do single tap to start for the video conference meeting. But we'll just jump right into the standard think of and start a new session. And this is how it comes up. It comes up on the canvas. The canvas is uh, actually 25 times larger than the screen. And to demonstrate that, I'll show you. I'll just put one piece of content up here and you can see how I just pinch and zoom to move that around, but I can easily just move that off the canvas to create more space when I need it or pull it, pull it back down onto the canvas. So um, first I'm just gonna go over a couple of our different applications that are built into ThinkHub. And the first one is the web browser. Now all the apps are located in this toolbar at the bottom. Uh, we call the tray. And so I'll, I'll tap the browser it basically pops up a web browser. Uh, in this case, it goes to Google, but it could just easily go to any other website that you would want it to uh, by default. Um, you can navigate through this. This is a full multi-touch browser. You can pinch and zoom in the browser and, and navigate around. Uh, the next app that we have is what we call Notes. So you can tap here. You can bring up a keyboard and type Notes in. And you can create multiple of these notes and you know, position them on the screen and arrange them. Uh, the next one that we have is the sketch tool. And with here, you can just come up here and sketch on anything. Now, I should point out that uh, with these three apps, actually, you can sketch on top of any object that's in ThinkHub. So if I grab this pin, for example, and I move back down here to the website, I could just annotate right on top of the website right on top of any, any other content, you know, and, I, and in that case I'm using my hand to erase. So this particular touchscreen has a special feature that it supports automatic recognition of the pen and the finger and the eraser, and so that's how I'm able to do that so, so easily. Um, the fourth application that we have is what we call Groups. So I'll tap the group icon up here, and this would let you take multiple pieces of content and group them together. Uh, so for example, I'm going to drag uh, four pieces of content up here real quick, and then I'm just going to put them in the group. And if I just drag it and drop it on the group, it becomes part of that group. And you can see I have these four. They're automatically aligned to each other in the group. I can move this group around. I can have multiple groups. There's a, a quick button here to just hide the content from that group if I just want to move this and park it over there later. But then at a moment's notice I can open it back up and see all that content again. Uh, so that's, that's our four apps that live in the app tray. Uh, the next one that I talk about is our media browser. And so I, you've already seen me do that a little bit, but basically the media browser is this section of the tray and it shows file-based content that ThinkHub has access to. And that could be either from a thumb drive, a network storage location, or a cloud-based file service. Um, and so in this situation we have image, image files, movie files, and PDF files. Those are the file types that uh, ThinkHub supports in the media browser. And you just tap these and they would come up on the canvas. You could pinch and zoom to resize them or you could just drag them. You know, you can just drag them on the canvas to a certain location. You know? um, uh, so one of the things I want to bring up is uh, every object, once you tap it, you're in the interactive mode with that object. And a, a tray comes up just for that object. And you can see there's several features in there. One of them that's quite useful actually is the full size button. So if I just wanted to take that content full size, I could do that. I can tap on this again and take it out of full size mode. Um, there's also an annotation tool here so that you can annotate without using the pen if you want. Uh, and you can change to eraser mode and change to different colors. You know, so it's, it's got a full suite of annotation tools. And in addition to that, there's the snapshot tool. So if I do that, hit that button, it basically makes an image copy snapshot of whatever that object is. Um, and then the only other part that you need to know in the toolbar is how do you get out of that mode? And that's this little carrot. You tap the carrot goes away and now you can move the object again. Okay, 
So um, we didn't really want to create every single application to run in the ThinkHub environment um, because that, there's a lot of apps that people want to use with ThinkHub. And so our approach was a little different. We decided, why don't we make it really easy for you to take any of your devices and uh, send that content to ThinkHub live and even enable you to interact with that content even though it's living back on your laptop. So for example, if you have AutoCAD on your Windows device, your Windows PC and you come in and you wanna show that, we enable you to do that with our Air Connect app. Uh, you can show it up here and then we can even interact back with your laptop and we'll show that real quick. And basically all of the, all of the devices that connect to ThinkHub show up in this area we call the device tray and, and we have this for all live feeds you know so devices definitely laptops which are you know mac windows android ios tablets phones all of these devices are live feeds they would show up in the device tray in addition to any hdmi inputs that we have in the system or usb feeds for example these are uh, usb cameras right here it's just showing a live live video feed right there just another object type showing live video. Um, but uh, so what's happened here is in our device tray, Blair, who's in the room, has connected with AirConnect. And I just tap on that, and that basically puts her laptop up here on the screen. Now, we have one laptop up here, but this could easily be four or five or six different devices from different people in the room, all showing different pieces of content. And, and you can see as Blair is scrolling up and down in her uh, web browser, you can see it live right here on the screen. You know, so um, so she can basically show any application that she can run on her platform and just show it right here, and it's embedded in the ThinkHub environment. Now I can easily come back here. The, we have another feature that we call Touch Control, which basically allows me to actually control her laptop from the screen. You know, so for example, if I click right here on Markets, it switches to Market. I can go to Enterprise, switches to Enterprise. So I'm actually driving her laptop using the screen. And this is, this is uh, excellent for things like you come in with a PowerPoint presentation that you just finished right before the meeting, you get it all keyed up, you come in and you present to the screen, and then you walk up to the screen and finish your presentation right from the screen, advancing the slides. So um, that's, that's Air Connect, which allows all your devices to connect. So um, now, those, those are all the features that you see in the tray. These are, you know, we've made these features, we think they're the most prominent features that most people use all the time. So we've made them highly visible and very easy for people to access them and understand how to use them. We have, of course, a whole lot more, uh, you know, number of features that, that we had to put somewhere. And so we hide those in the menu. Uh, we, and, you know, this is most, would maybe be used for power users, super user type. Um, and if you come in here, there's a, there's a lot of other features that are in this menu. A big one to point out is our video conference integration. Uh, so we integrate with hardware-based video conference systems, and we also integrate with software-based VC systems uh, like Zoom, WebEx, Skype, BlueJeans, uh, Teams. And you can see this particular instance has WebEx, Skype for Business, and Zoom all installed on this unit. And they, they can run interchangeably. You know, you can jump into one Zoom meeting, finish that, and then go right into a WebEx meeting. Um, so we support all those in the ThinkHub environment, which means you can join the video conference and you can also share any content from the Canvas with the remote participants through that service. Um, you know, some other features that show up in here are some of the Canvas tools. And we have uh, various tools to help you align uh, and, and align objects to each other and align groups of objects to each other and we call that uh, smart guides and smart grids and that would be in these drawing, drawing tools uh, area and align apps area. Uh, you can also hit this quickly and it'll just align every object on the screen kind of automatically. Uh, there's grid lines, there's also a theme where you can go and say you want everything to be, you want the, the background to be black or white. Um, so that's, that's kind of our, our super user features all in the menu. And the volume control is in here, content sharing. And there's also, you'll see an object here called multi-site, which is uh, a very powerful feature that allows multiple ThinkHubs to share content with each other. A powerful feature that is also embedded in the menu is saving and retrieving sessions. And this is very important if you're in the middle, you know, if you have a lot of content with notes uh, from your meeting and the meeting ends, 
you want to be able to save all of that content, all of the annotations, uh, and then be able to come back later and pull all of that and restore it back exactly where you left off. And so we do that a couple ways. One is a thing that says, you know, an item that says open sessions and one that says save sessions. So I'm going to hit open. I'm just going to show you how it works. I'm going to click on this one uh, and it's going to tell me I'm going to erase my current session here and load a new session in as it loads. You know, the screen is uh, gray for a second as it's loading content in, and then it pops up here on the, on the canvas. And this is exactly where that session was left off, um, you know, with all of the original content. So, you know, for example, this is a, an image file. You know, this is a PDF file. You can still go through all the slides. And if there were annotations on different pages of this PDF, that would all be retained, you know. Um, so saving and retrieving sessions, that's how we do... Uh, persistence of your session and your and your content. That is uh, a quick demonstration of ThinkHub and its most relevant features. Thank you.